Hey, John Dillon here with a great tutorial from visualbroccoli.com. You notice how they're all great? I, I guess I'm just trying to sell it to you. Anyway, what I'm going to do here in this tutorial is show you how to place an image inside a text using PowerPoint. It's really kind of a slick effect that really can spice up your presentation. And if you know me, or if you've seen any of my presentations, anytime I can use an image, instead of text, I will do so. Here, I'm combining the best of both worlds. So here's my slide. I'm gonna do maybe a talk on fire prevention, which I don't do, but this happened to be just kind of a cool effect with fire, so I, I did it. So here's like fire, and then I have some text down here as prevention. All of this is created 100% in PowerPoint. So I'm gonna hit the escape key, and I'm gonna show you how to do this effect. We're on a slide. I'm going to create a new slide here. And to do that, I can go insert slide. But you know, I love shortcuts. I'm going to hit Control M as in Mary on the PC. On the Mac, there'd be a Command key plus M for a new slide as well. So Control M. Hopefully, you at least learn that in this tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and insert text. Unfortunately, there is no shortcut for that. There we go. I'm going to type in fire. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is let's just get this a little larger here. Choose all the text. They really make this effect kind of stand out. We want something a little thicker than Arial. So I'm going to go ahead and choose. Now, Arial Black is probably the safest. And this is on every computer. Another font that I happen to have on my PC, and yeah, I have to apologize, I believe this is on most computers, it's Bodini MT Black. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. I just like the font there. Okay, and I'm gonna go a little larger. Oops, maybe too large. And let's just bring this to the center. And I can also just use my arrow keys to move it right there. Sometimes it's easier than trying to move it along. And let's select the text. I'm gonna right click on it. Format text effect. And I'm going to go ahead and choose text fill. So I've got text fill selected. I'm going to go ahead and choose picture or text to fill. And what it's going to do by default is going to choose something from one of these textures here. And you can choose one of these as if you choose to. You're going to see they're really not that dynamic. But they're free and they're there. What I'm going to do is actually insert from a file. I'm going to click on this, and I happen to have a few here in a folder, so I can do this ambulance if I want. But I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these fires. Let's go with fire four. And already, there's my effect. But wait, there's more. I'm going to go ahead and choose a outline style, and I'm going to choose a kind of a thick line. So let's go up to the width, and it's 2.75 I'm going to use. And I'm going to go ahead to the text outline and change it from black to white. And of course, you can change it to any color you want, but that's what I'm doing here in this lesson. And one more thing, I want this to pop out. I want to go ahead and add a drop shadow. Now, I can also just, because this is a live text, which means this is editable, I can go up here and hit the shadow key up here, or I can do it down here. So I'm just going to go preset and choose, oh, let's go kind of an offset center stage. That looks good. And I can even change some of the effects and you can even come in here there's all types of things you can do in here if you've never been in here 3d effects uh, some work better than others when you're using text but i'm just going to go ahead and uh, just reset it stick with where we're at here today and that's looking pretty good hit close and we're done that's it pretty doggone simple now i'm going to go ahead and save this real quick and you're going to get a warning and i want to point this out to you so i did Control s to save What's telling me here is since I'm using PowerPoint 2007, I can only do this effect in PowerPoint 2007 or greater. So if I try to present this, this presentation on an older version of PowerPoint, I'm going to lose this effect. In fact, it's telling me that right here. The shape and any text in it cannot be edited when using earlier versions of PowerPoint. And slides two and three, which is what I did the text effect in, have that and I will lose that. So be aware of that. If you want to be truly safe and you're sending this PowerPoint presentation out to others to use, you may want to do this as an image in Photoshop. 
And it so happens we have another tutorial on our website on how to do exactly that. I'm just going to continue. It's saved. And by the way, here is a Photoshop version. In fact, you can hardly tell the difference. Some slight difference, just the way I did it. But basically, i actually using a different image. But you see the effects. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please let us know. Until the next time, hope you always find unique ways to make your presentation more editable to your audience. Take care.